नमस्कार वेलकम टू द फोर्टीन एडिशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स वॉच युअर वीकली अपडेट ऑन हाउ स्टैंडर्ड्स शेप एंड इंपैक्ट अवर लाइफ आई एम के वी राव हियर विथ की अपडेट्स एंड इनसाइट्स फ्रॉम द वर्ल्ड ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड्स बिफोर वी स्टार्ट एन इंपॉर्टेंट रिमाइंडर डोंट मिस अवर स्पेशल सिगमेंट कंज्यूमर कनेक्ट एट द एंड वेर वी शेयर इंपॉर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशन ऑन स्टैंडर्ड्स विच आर सिग्निफिकेंट फॉर कंज्यूमर्स लेट एस बिगिन विद द हेडलाइंस BIS publishes key IoT standards to enable interoperability across sectors. BIS develops standards for new and emerging areas including carbon emission, greenhouse gases, aerogel blankets among others. Standards formulated for wearable electronic devices. Detailed headlines. The Internet of Things is reshaping digital ecosystems through seamless device communication across sectors. To ensure secure and interoperable connectivity, BIS has published key standards including IS 18004 Part 1 on IoT reference architecture, IS ISO IEC TR 22417 on IoT use cases, IS ISO IEC 21 823 series covering interoperability for IoT systems framework transport syntactic and semantic these standards enable consistent data exchange across platforms and domains like smart cities healthcare and agriculture india also actively contributed to global IoT standardization at the ISO IEC JTC1 SC41 plenary held from 2nd to 6th june 2025 bias develops several standards in the new and emerging areas in the first quarter of 2025 26 some of the new standards which are worth mentioning include is 19304 flexible aerogel blanket is iso 14083 greenhouse gases quantification and reporting of greenhouse gas emissions arising from transport chain operations is 19284 characteristics of electric infrared emitters for industrial heating is 19283 graphite electrodes for electric or furnaces dimensions and designation is iec 62807 hybrid communication cables is 18998 principles for the analysis of microplastics present in the environment is 19218 textiles coir non woven stitch composite geo textiles for erosion control applications paving the path for india's commitment to climate leadership and low carbon development bias has developed eight iso standards on the carbon capture utilization storage technologies etc wearable electronic devices and technologies such as smart watches electronic textiles smart rings smart glasses combined with advanced sensors processors and wireless connectivity to track activity monitor health and provide real time data represent a fast growing sector of smart body worn gadgets designed to enhance everyday life bias has published key standards like is iec 63203 series on various aspects of wearables india is also actively contributing to international standardization at the iec tc 124 and is leading the formulation of two important standards on energy harvesting of e textiles and one critical standard on mobile based wearable data security let us glance through quick updates for this week Recognizing the importance of efficient committee management for standard formulation, BIS has introduced several process reforms such as self-declaration by the members, mandatory attendance in more than 50% of the meetings in a year, 
publication of annual calendar of meetings and formation of working groups with well-defined scope and time frame. Test methods are an important aspect of the standards. BIS has made it mandatory to get the test methods proposed in a standard validated immediately after the preliminary draft is finalized. This will ensure that the test methods are aligned to the current industry practices. BIS has taken up the project of converting all its standards in the XML format from the PDF format. From 1st September 2025 onwards, new standards will be formulated only in the XML format. As per the revised guidelines for the BIA student chapters and the technical institutions, student members have to take up pre-standardization studies on new subjects and case studies on the existing standards. 76 new subjects and 73 existing standards have been shared with the mentors of student chapters for these studies. 258 number of interns with the standardization departments of BIS from 67 institutions are working on 211 pre-standardization documents and 353 review documents as a part of their summer internship program 2025. Sectoral mapping of the standards combined with its linkage with the database of the industrial landscaping exercise is expected to help the sectional committees in taking much more informed decisions. As a follow-up to this, standardization departments have chalked out a plan of action for Industry Connect to identify new and emerging areas for standardization. NIT Trichy has decided to introduce a course on standardization. BIS has decided to have a Museum of Standards Manak Vyom at NITS to preserve the important moments of 78-year-old history. A request for proposal was floated recently to identify a developer for this purpose. BIS in collaboration with the Startup Incubation and Innovation Centre organised a workshop titled From Innovation to Impact, BIS Standards Serving the Startups at the Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur on 26 June 2025. BIS has finalised 37 online certificate courses based on Indian standards to be delivered through the learning management system. BIS has also developed more than 100 short-duration consumer awareness videos on products of mass consumption. The videos will be available on the LMS platform, BIS website and the BIS Care app. Government of India launched Smart Cities Mission to develop 100 smart cities for delivering high-quality life through technology-driven solutions. BIS plays a pivotal role in this endeavour by formulating standards addressing various dimensions of ICT, urban indicators and the smart transportation so that these smart cities can function cohesively and efficiently. Smart cities are an inspiration not only for the government of India but also for the citizens of India. The Bureau of Indian Standards has developed a comprehensive set of standards for facilitating the standards-based technology adoption in smart cities, specifically focusing on information and communication technologies ICT. These standards comprise of an overall master blueprint, the ICT reference architecture, and other supporting standards on data technologies Geographical Information Systems GIS, Internet of Things, IoT Systems and Communication Protocols. Some of the Indian standards are IS 18000 Unified Digital Infrastructure ICT Reference Architecture It helps to build a unified digital infrastructure in smart cities. The standards describe all the functional building blocks of the ICT infrastructure such as command and control center, dashboards, city domain services, ERP applications, data governance, etc. Other standards in the series detail the major components of the smart city ICT infrastructure. For instance, IS 18002 Data Layer Reference Architecture establishes 
key principles for how city data should be managed. IS-18003 Unified Data Exchange Architecture defines how various city systems can securely and effectively exchange and share data. IS-18004 IoT System Reference Architecture provides guidance for Internet of Things systems which are vital for collecting real-time data across the city from smart devices. IS-18008 Smart Cities GIS Reference Architecture Addresses Geographical Information Systems GIS for Location-Based Decision Making and IS-18010 Unified Last Mile Communication Protocol Stack ensures device-level interoperability between diverse heterogeneous systems developed by various vendors. Because smart standards build smart cities and a stronger nation. Now that we have seen the role of ICT standards for development of digital infrastructure of smart cities. Let us listen to our experts and understand this in detail. The panelists include Ms. Reena Garg, Scientist G, DDG Standards 1, Mr. Manikantan, Scientist E and Head IT Services Department, BIS. Hello everyone, welcome to Standards Talks. Today we have two distinguished experts, Mrs. Reena Garg and Mr. Manikantan who will enlighten us about the standards on smart cities in India. Starting with you ma'am, what is the role of ICT smart standards, city standards published by BIS in making our cities smart and what are the most important standards on smart cities that people should know? Well, uh, smart city, it is a very complex system. In fact, a system of systems where various vertical functionalities like water, sanitation, street light, traffic light, all are working together. And these have been deployed in the city by various suppliers, various vendors, and they use different technology stacks. And sometimes they use proprietary, you know, uh, protocols. So as a result of which, this makes these systems uninteroperable. They cannot talk to each other. They work in silos. So this is a big concern. So IS 18,000 series of standard addresses this issue by offering reference ICT architecture for smart cities and also the data communication standard, which tells about the uh, standard data exchange and how the data can be structured. So for any kind of, uh, you know, the uh, city planner or any kind of uh, SPV in India, in smart cities in India, if they uh, implement these IS 18,000 series of standard, this means all their functionalities will have seamless integration. They will be able to talk to each other, they'll be interoperable and they will, uh, they, this will ensure a sort of cross-platform interoperability. And it will give a uh, plug and play and scalable solutions to all these uh, vertical, uh, you know, the functionalities. So these uh, BIS standards are suitable both for large metros and also for smart municipal corporations. Sir, as ma'am has talked about IS 18,000, can you please elaborate on what is IS 18,000 and what is I ICT reference architecture and what does it contains? Uh, ICT reference architecture is a template architecture. Uh, I mean, it's like a blueprint uh, which defines all the basic building blocks that a digital infrastructure should have. Uh, this standard was uh, developed following a highly systematic approach. The architecture description in this standard, uh, it starts by identifying all the stakeholders of a city. A stakeholder could be a, a city administrator, it could be a citizen, uh, even a person who is visiting a city can be a stakeholder and the standard also identify uh, the, all the expectations of the stakeholders from this digital infrastructure and uh, uh, the standard uh, then uh, identify captures all the functionalities required in the digital infrastructure to satisfy all those expectations of all the stakeholders uh, that constitutes the functional reference model. Uh, the standard further drills down 
uh, in identifying the technologies, data and information flow required to realize those functionalities uh, which are called function, uh, technology reference model and information reference model. Together, this functional reference model, technology reference model and information reference model constitutes the ICT reference architecture. Coming back to you ma'am, can you share some practical instances where these standards are being utilized? Uh, certainly. India Urban Data Exchange Platform is a digital uh, public platform launched by Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs under uh, Smart City Mission of India. So this platform facilitates seamless data sharing by different smart cities in India and this standard this platform is based on IS 18003 which defines unified data exchange architecture and API specification supporting uh, interoperability amongst different heterogeneous uh, functionalities working within a city. So this platform is a practical example and almost uh, more than 50 uh, smart cities have already been onboarded on this platform. Thank you ma'am. Thank you sir for joining us today and sharing the valuable information. Time for Consumer Connect. Let us learn another phase of standardization through this segment. हम सभी घर जब बनवाते हैं तो हम सबसे पहले सीमेंट और बाकी सारी चीजों को ध्यान में रखते हैं बट जब हमारा कंस्ट्रक्शन कंप्लीट हो जाता है तो हम केबलिंग और इलेक्ट्रिकल अप्लायंसेस और उसके एसेसरीज के बारे में हमारा ध्यान जाता है जब हमने केबल के बारे में सोचा तो हम लोग सबसे अच्छा और सबसे बढ़िया केबल यूज करते हैं बट केबल को दीवालों में और छतों में ले करने के लिए कभी हमने सोचा है कि हमारा क्या प्रोडक्ट यूज होना चाहिए तो आइए उसके बारे में जानते हैं ये हमारा कंड्यूट पाइप है जिसको हम लोग घरों में अपनी केबल्स को इंस्टॉल करने के लिए यूज करते हैं और इसी के अंदर हमारी सारी केबल्स पूरे घर की जितनी भी हमारी केबल्स और एक्सेसरीज है वो सारी लगती हैं यहाँ पे ये हमारा आईएसआई एस है जो कि पाइप हमारा आ, केबल्स को ले करने के लिए यूज होता है इन पाइप्स की बहुत सारी प्रॉपर्टीज हैं जो कि आम जनता या आम नागरिक नहीं जानते हैं तो हमारा जो भारतीय मानक है नाइन वो इस कंड्यूट पाइप्स की क्वालिटी और परफॉर्मेंस को स्पेसिफाई करता है और इसके तीन पार्ट्स हैं पार्ट वन पार्ट टू एंड पार्ट थ्री पार्ट वन में जितनी भी इसकी रिक्वायरमेंट्स हैं वो सारी मेंशन की गई हैं और पार्ट थ्री में इसकी परफॉर्मेंस और दूसरी स्पेसिफिकेशंस uh, को मेंशन किया गया है इन कंड्यूट पाइप्स में डायमेंशन उसके अलावा मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज जैसे कि इसका कंप्रेशन इम्पैक्ट बेंडिंग कोलैप्स और दूसरे टेस्ट किए जाते हैं इसके अलावा इन पाइप्स में हमारे इलेक्ट्रिकल टेस्ट भी परफॉर्म किए जाते हैं जिसमें कि हम ये देखते हैं कि इस पाइप में इन केस ऑफ कोई शॉर्ट सर्किट या फिर किसी दूसरी प्रॉब्लम के आने के टाइम पे ये हमारा कितनी वोल्टेज को सहन कर सकता है और किसी भी प्रकार की इसमें प्रॉब्लम ना आए इसके अलावा इसमें एक टेस्ट रेजिस्टेंस टू बर्निंग यानी कि हीट रेजिस्टेंस और बर्निंग रेजिस्टेंस जिसमें कि अगर घर में कभी किसी एक्सीडेंट के कारण या शॉर्ट सर्किट के कारण अगर आग लग जाए तो ऐसा तो नहीं कि ये पाइप पूरा जलने लगेगा और जिसकी वजह से हमारे दूसरे अप्लायसेस और हमारे घर को नुकसान पहुंचे तो इसी के साथ मैं सभी हमारे श्रोताओं और नागरिकों से मैं अनुरोध करूंगा कि कभी भी अगर आप पाइप्स खरीदे अपने घरों में इलेक्ट्रिकल केबल को ले करने के लिए तो आई मार्क जरूर इंश्योर करें और अपनी जरूरत के हिसाब से उसके थिकनेस और उसके डायमेंशन और डायमीटर के हिसाब से ही ये पाइप परचेज करें बिफोर वी रैप अप डोंट फॉरगेट टू डाउनलोड बी आई एस के रैप और राइट टू अस एट स्टैंडर्ड वॉच एट बी आई एस डॉट जीओवी डॉट आई एन फॉर एनी क्वरीज और असिस्टेंस दैट्स ऑल फॉर दिस एडिशन सी यू नेक्स्ट वीक विथ मोर अपडेट्स एंड कन्वर्सेशन